Hi, class. <laughs> we are going to talk about listening and friendship today. But before we begin, let's ask Carmen what we talked about last week. Carmen, what did we focus on last week? Well, we learned about special feelings. Right, Carmen, we did. And what are those special feelings, Carmen? Well, you can be happy, you can be angry, you can be excited, you can be sad, you can be proud. Like, for example, Miss Sarah, when I was able to achieve my goal and climb the tallest tree, I felt proud. Yes, that's a great feeling, feeling proud when you achieve something. So why is it important to tell people how we feel, Carmen? So they know how we feel. Right, okay? People can't read our minds, so it's important to tell them how we feel. We can also show them, but it's also important to tell them. Absolutely. Okay, so now that we reviewed, now let's get into our new lesson on listening and friendship. Okay, listening is very important. When we listen, we can find out things, okay? How about you, Carmen? Well, Miss Sarah, I can find out when it's time for dinner. When I listen, I can hear the sound of kitty treats pouring into my bowl. When I hear the neighbor's big dog bark, I know it's time for me to go inside. All right, Carmen. So we're gonna play an activity, Carmen, okay? So what we're going to do, class, I'm going to make sounds, okay? And what I want you to do is I want you to close your eyes and put your heads down, okay? And then once you think you know what the sound is, I want you to open your eyes and you'll see what it is, okay? Unfortunately, we can't guess because our lessons are recorded. I mean, you can still guess, but I can't, you know, tell you that if you're right or wrong. So, but I'll show you if you're right or wrong, okay? So let's begin. I'm gonna set Carmen down, okay? There you go, Carmen, thanks. All right, so go ahead, close your eyes, put your heads down on your desk, and then I will make a sound and I want you to try to guess what that sound is. So the whole point of this activity, guys, is we're listening, we're using our ears, right? Okay, so let's begin. Okay, close your eyes, no peeking, okay? I'm trusting you because I can't tell if you're peeking or not, so no peeking. Close your eyes and put your heads down. Okay, ready? I'll do that one again. Okay, so once you've heard the sound, you may open your eyes and lift your head up. So, if you were properly listening, that was me clapping, okay? All right, let's do another round. Go ahead and close your eyes and put your head down, okay? This one's gonna be a little more tricky, okay? Let's give it a try. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'll do that one more time, okay? Okay, keep your heads down. Okay. So, lift your heads up and open your eyes. So, it sounded like a rattling sound, right? But it was actually staples. That's what it was. Okay, so it was the staples that was making that noise. All right, so let's do a few more here. Okay, close your eyes, put your heads down. Okay, remember, open those ears, make sure you're listening. Okay, no peeking. All right, ready? One, two, three. Okay, let me do that one more time. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Okay, so what was that? That was me crumbling up paper. That's what that was, okay? All right, so we'll do a few more. Okay, go ahead and put your heads down and close your eyes. Okay, so what was that sound? That was me snapping, right? 
Okay, good job guys. So do you see how important it is to listen? Okay, so let me do, let me do one more, okay? Close your eyes, no peeking. Okay, what was that sound? That was me knocking on a door, right? Good job. So you guys get the idea, okay? It's super important to listen, right? All right, so now let's move on. Okay. So now what I want you guys to realize that listening to a sound or a song is not the same as listening to a person. When you listen to those sounds, when you had your head down and your eyes closed, okay, that is not the way you listen, <clears throat> excuse me, that's not the way you listen to another person, right? Okay, so think about that for a moment. How is listening to a sound or a song different from listening to another person? Right, you look at the other person when you listen. It shows them that you're listening, truly, fully listening, and you're showing them that respect, right? So when you listen to other people, it's important to look at them so they know that you're truly listening. So <clears throat> I have an activity here that I'd like you guys to do. Um, I'm just gonna explain the activity because I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to do it if you're at home learning. Um, you might be able to do it with your parents or your siblings. Um, and if you're in school watching this, you definitely can do this. So I challenge you guys to ask a question everybody should answer okay so for example this question would work for this activity which food do you like best strawberries peanuts or potatoes so go around the class or go around with your family members okay ask that question okay everybody is going to answer right okay so say your one classmate says strawberries um, your other classmate says potatoes okay the goal is to really fully listen and to remember, okay? So after everybody answers, we're going to go back around and try to guess what everybody said, okay? So the goal is to get it right. Does that make sense? So we're going to ask that question. Which food do you like best, strawberries, peanuts, or potatoes, okay? And then that's an activity for listening. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we're going to talk about friendship. So if you have time today or this week to do that activity with that one particular question and to go around and see if you can remember what everybody says, that's a great listening activity to show the other person that you're giving them respect and you're fully listening to what they're saying. Okay, and unfortunately we can't play the telephone game. So let's get into our friendship lesson. Okay. So it's okay to be different, right? Alike but different, and that's okay. I have a lot of friends that are different than me, but I still love and care about them. They're still my friends, okay? Some friends are very much alike. They get along great because they enjoy doing the same things. They like to dress alike, eat the same foods, and play the same games, okay? Sonia has a friend, okay, and her and Sonia Carmen and Sonia are alike, okay? So, we're going to talk to Carmen in a few minutes, but it's important to realize that it is okay to be different, okay? And we're going to talk about what it means to be opposite as well. Class, Carmen is looking for her friend Sonia. Yes, I am, Miss Sarah. Have you seen her? Sonia is my friend. I have looked everywhere for her. She looks like me. You know, exactly like me. I haven't seen Sonia, Carmen, but I think you are confused. Carmen, I have a lot of friends, but most of them aren't furry and spotted. Friends are not always the same. Sonia and I are the same. We are exactly perfectly the same. Do you want to hear a poem I wrote about Sonia and myself? Sure, Carmen. Sonia likes milk, which I also adore. Sonia loves fish, and I also want more. Sonia and I both have big spots, as you can see. And we both are skaters, both smart as can be. 
Sonia and Carmen are so much the same. Some people call us by each other's name. Sonia and I share the same favorite tree, and I like her because she's exactly like me. Thank you, Carmen. What a nice poem. Some friends are very much alike, okay? They get along great because they enjoy the same things. But other friends are completely opposite, like we talked about before, okay? So what does it mean to be opposites? Completely different, right? Yeah. So what we're going to do right now, I'm going to say a word, okay? And Carmen's going to play with us too. I'm going to say a word, and I want you to think of the opposite, okay? The opposite word. So let's start. Tall. Well, Miss Sarah, the opposite of tall is short. Right, Carmen? Okay, the next one. Talkative. The opposite of talkative is quiet. Right, Carmen, good job. How about this one, Carmen, in class? Boy, what is the opposite of boy? Well, Miss Sarah, the opposite of boy is girl. Right, Carmen, good job. All right, let's try one more. Young, this one's a little tricky. Young, so, you're not a grown-up, you're a younger, right? Okay, you're not a grown-up. So the opposite of young would be old. Right, good job. All right, Carmen, this one's for you. This one's specially for you. Cat, what is the opposite of cat? Oh, Miss Sarah, I know this one, dog. I guess you're right. Sonia and I are alike, but we have some differences too. I like roller coasters and Ferris wheels, but Sonia is a scaredy cat. She only rides the kitty rides. We both like to read, but I like joke books and Sonia likes to read adventure stories. There is another difference too. Sonia likes to whistle. I would rather sing. That's right, Carmen. Even Friends who are very much alike are different in some ways, and many friends are very different from each other. I have other friends who are very different from me. Come to think of it, I even have a friend who is a dog, a boy dog. Yes, cats and dogs and boys and girls are very different, but they can still be friends, okay? Do you want to hear a story about how I met my dog friend? Sure, Carmen, we would love to. Here is a book that tells how we met. We are so different, I couldn't imagine that we would ever be friends, but you can read this book and find out how our friendship began. Thanks, Carmen. Why don't you have a seat while we read the book to the class? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and read the story. class so now we're going to read Carmen and Wagner make friends remember the book that Carmen mentioned to us all right so let's get started okay once there was a cat named Carmen Carmen liked to read to roller skate and to tell jokes hey Sonia she said one day to her friend do you know why you can never go hungry on the beach no said Sonia why can you never go hungry on the beach Carmen smiled because she said you can always eat the sandwich which is there. Get it? You can always eat the sandwiches there? She laughed. Carmen, you're so funny. I like to tell jokes, said Carmen. Just then, two dogs walked by. Their names were Wagner and Mitch. Wagner liked to tell jokes too. Hey Mitch, Wagner said to his friend, do you know why you can never go hungry on the beach? No, said Mitch. Why can you never go hungry on the beach? Wagner opened his mouth, but before he could say anything, Carmen said, you can always eat the sand, which is there. Mitch laughed. You can always eat the sandwich is there. That's a pretty good joke, he said. 
Wagner frowned at Carmen. That was my pretty good joke, he said. I'm sorry, said Carmen. I just like to tell jokes. You two would make a pretty good comedy team, said Mitch. I don't even know her, said Wagner. Besides, she's a cat. Well, you're a dog, said Carmen. I can't imagine having a friend, a, d a dog for a friend. Mitch looked at Carmen, then at Wagner. Then he saw Sonia. Would you like to go to the store with me and get a box of puppy chow, he asked. Sure, said Sonia, but let's get some milk too. And off they went. Carmen and Wagner stood next to each other. They didn't say anything for about a minute. Then Carmen said, what do you know about cats anyways? Wagner put his paws on his hips. What do I know about cats? I know plenty about cats. Cats have long claws and they scratch you. They sleep all the time. And he said, they never listen to you. Hmm, said Carmen. So that's what you know about cats? Let's see. You said that cats scratch you, right? Right, said Wagner. Well, said Carmen. Well, what, said Wagner. Well, I have, well, have I scratched you, said Carmen. Wagner frowned. Well, no, I guess not. And let's see, said Carmen. You said that cats sleep all the time, right? Uh, yes, I guess so, said Wagner. But I'm not sleeping now, am I? Asked Carmen. Uh, no, said Wagner. Carmen scratched his head. Let me think, she said. What was the last thing you said you knew about cats? Oh, I remember. You said that cats never listen to you. Well, what I meant was, but I'm listening to you right now, aren't I? Said Carmen. Well, sure you are, but, uh, well, what do you know about dogs? Asked Wagner. What do I know about dogs? They're very smart. They're very friendly, and some of them like to tell jokes. Huh, said Wagner. Then he thought about what Carmen said. Oh, well, maybe not that, s oh, well, maybe not that smart sometimes. Then they both started laughing. I'm sorry, said Wagner. I guess I don't really know that much about dogs, about cats. <laughs> That's okay, said Carmen. I'll tell you what. I won't tell any jokes, dog jokes, if you won't tell any cat jokes. It's a deal, said Wagner. Let's shake on it. Carefully said Carmen, holding out her paw. I don't want to scratch you. Scratch me, said Wagner. Then he laughed. Another joke, he said. I guess so, said Carmen, smiling. Maybe, said Wagner. Maybe we can become friends. What do you think? I don't know, said Carmen. My friends do fun things with me. They're nice to me, too. Well, my friends are nice to me, too, said Wagner. And, and they go with me to the library and look up more jokes. Well, said Carmen, as she started walking as she started to walk to the library with Wagner, I guess that this cat and this dog are going to be friends after all. Okay, the end. So, this ties into both of our lessons that we did, the two topics, listening and friendship, right? Wagner and Carmen, they thought they knew everything about each other, right? Wagner thought he knew everything about cats, Carmen thought she knew everything about Wagner, but it turns out once they actually get to know each other and learn and listen, they realize that they do have similarities, but they do have differences too. But that is okay. It is okay to be different from your friends. Okay, class. So being different can make a friendship more interesting, right? You saw that with Wagner and Carmen because one's a cat, Carmen's a cat, Wagner's a dog but they still have similarities, but they still found it interesting that they're different and that is okay. So friends can have fun together, okay? They can share, okay? And they can take turns as well, all right? That is important for friends. A friend who comes from a different country can introduce you to delicious new foods, right? Okay, a friend who knows how to play a game that you've never played before can teach you how to play. It's okay to be different. It's interesting to be different. 
So if your friend knows how to do something, but you don't, they can teach you how to do it. And it makes it more fun, right? Okay, a friend who knows people you have not met can introduce you to new friends. A friend who can speak or hear, who cannot speak or hear can even teach you a different way to talk, right? Maybe they can teach you um, sign language, okay? So it's important to stay friends even if you're different, it's okay. As long as that friend is being nice and kind to you, it's okay if they're different. You can still have fun together. You can share and you can do things together. So remember, it's all right to be different. It's okay. You don't have to be just like your friend in order to be friends. What's that, Carmen? Oh, Carmen wanted to say something to you guys. What's that, Carmen? What did you want to say to the class? Friends are the same in some ways and different in some ways. Friends are fun. And friends who are very different from you can be more fun than you ever imagined. Right, Carmen? It's all right to not be exactly like your friends, right? So I hope you guys enjoyed our lesson today. If you have any questions, feel free to email us at scazzerprevention at gmail.com. Have your teacher or your parent or a trusted adult help you with that with any questions or comments and we'd love to hear from you and we'll see you next time guys. Have a good day.